All right, Quinn just picked me up. We're about to go to the beach and then pick up some food. Actually, no, we're gonna go to the gym, then pick up some food and go to the beach. All right, let's do it. Did it actually, oh, dick. No, there's a way that you gotta angle it. Ooh, maybe you can get this stuck in the vent. Yeah. Ooh, oh, look at that. Video oh, log. shit. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's clean. All right. I'm make sure I'm looking big. Oh. Uh. Hold on. <gasps> Alright, which way are we going? Oh, I'm going left. We're gonna get like a stand or something. Ooh. What do they have? I wonder how the other YouTubers do it. They definitely like. Yeah, they have like real cameras though. They yeah. Like no, they, they put it on their phones though. Good. Yeah. No, like, they, they have like a little mount on like the little window right there. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> See how agile the drivers are. Make it all the way there without the phone falling? No, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall at some point. I can't do that the whole time. I don't feel like being that careful. I dig this song. I'm so happy. Look at that sandcastle. That's some copyright infringement on my video. Oh no! I'll get over it. You just cut it out. To the phone right now. Great right, babe, we gotta go there one time. Oh yeah. See at our fucking gym, right? If you make just the smallest hint of noise when you deadlift, the owner's gonna personally walk up to you, fuck you up, and tell you to leave, and like threaten to tackle you like a football player, right? And that gym that we just drove by, you can make as much noise as you want. There's a whole room where you can just slam weight. They give no problems at all. Yup. Got to transfer there. I was deadlifting. Uh, I was deadlifting. And literally, Dave wasn't. Dave was done all his work. Yup. And I, I literally put on three. Oh, fuck. Get back up. All right. I was. Oh God. You were saying. Oh fuck. Okay, that's it. All right. No more. If it falls again. I was deadlifting, and I put on like I was still coming back into deadlifting because I hurt my back. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. All right. All right. The camera cut off. I'm out of space. I actually got a 128 gigabyte iPhone. Literally have no space. Down to East Maryland Avenue. Ah. You were saying you were deadlifting one time at a Oh yeah. So like Dave was doing his whole In little. In a quarter death. mile, continue on to New Jersey 152 East. Uh oh. So Dave was doing his whole like deadlift workout and everything, and he just got done, and I'm still recovering from my injury back like months ago. This is probably like, two months or something like that, right? Yeah, something. It was like yeah, two, months two months ago. ago. Two months ago when this incident happened, but I was recovering from my injury like four months prior, something. Uh, so Dave just gets done his deadlift workout. I throw on 315 to work with it because I need to get, uh, recondition my CNS and I need to start working back into deadlifts. And about I think two sets in, I only was only doing two or three sets, so it might have been it was my last set. I know that. And right in my last set. I finish, put the weight down, we're all done, we're gonna move, we're gonna move to a different workout. Then, I'm leaning against a little bench press, freaking Little Island gym, uh, gym owner, owner runs over, starts screaming in Dave's face, fucking freaking out, cursing him the fuck out, telling him all this bullshit, fucking, it looked like he was gonna rip Dave's little fucking nose off, like fucking chew it and feed it back to him, like that kind of bullshit. <laughs> So that's why we don't want to fucking go to Island anymore because they bitch about us putting down their little plates. Like, it sounds like a fucking gym. Like, it should sound like a gym. Like, all right, sorry, we're working hard. All right. That's how big guys take their pre-workouts. Oh, God. Main line. Fucking snort it on the car. I can't. Uh-oh. <laughs> you alright? Let's try not to think about it. We good. Alright. Let's go. Today's workout was week one for me and Quinn was on week four. We were both doing a push day and here's me trying to get 225 or 10 which I can normally get on a normal day but today I was just off and you're gonna see me fail here. I, I think I failed like on the ninth rep. Me and Quinn both had like off days today. We just weren't as strong. And Quinn, he's cutting right now, so 
when you cut essentially when you drop your calories very low like he's doing right now because he's trying to diet down to get like really lean and his strength is just simply not there he tried a 7x3 today with 295 and it just didn't didn't go well at all normally he could easily do 315 but once again when you when you're dieting you're just simply not strong but you still got to push through it and that's that's what you got to do so right now me and corner both we're pretty much done our push days right and at the end of our workouts we like to throw in accessories that we simply enjoy doing like for example bicep curls so whatever the program says that's not just what we do like towards the end if we feel like we have lagging muscle groups or certain body parts we'll hit them with extra volume we'll find like some isolation exercises to do like a thing that I'm doing right now is I'm training biceps practically every single day because I simply want to bring them up so don't be afraid to at the end of the workouts hit small muscle groups as much as you want you don't have to worry about overtraining them or anything like that all right it's the end of the workout we're just going to rep out 135 quick for Alright, we just got back from the beach, we're on our way home right now, and we were just talking in the car, and what were we talking about? The strength program, and why you should or shouldn't run it. Now, a lot of you guys are on my Snapchat story, right, and every now and then I like to check my Snapchat story, and I came across the other day, some kid was doing static holds with 265, right? And like, as soon as I saw that, I realized something. If you're like, if you just see my Q&A video, right, and you see the program that I'm on, you can't just run the program if you're a beginner. Now, you essentially need to have a 225 bench, a 315 squat, and a 405 deadlift. Like, that's a general, like, strength base, right? That, yeah, it's what most people consider strength base, right? You need to be able to hit those numbers before you run, before you run the program, like, the program that we wrote, I mean, the program that we're running. Oh, wow. It's more beneficial to have a decent strength base, base, uh, base beneath you, so that you you can move more weight. You, the the program would be more effective. The, how it's constructed will be more effective if you have the strength to perform these workouts because you're not going to get much out of uh, 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 I would say what like a a one thirty five. Yeah. seven by three or some shit like that mm -hmm. you're gonna get nothing out of that literally yeah. like it's not useful compared to like essentially what you want to do is if you if you don't have that strength base you if you don't have a strength base and you run let's say Elliot's second program the really high volume one you're gonna be putting in so much work you're gonna be getting very sore yeah. and you essentially you could be making way more gains a lot faster if you ran like a very simple beginner program like a five by five per se you'll make better faster gains running that and you you're putting in a lot less work it's just overall more beneficial because you want to you want to make as much gains as you can doing as least as you can and build from there because if you start off like let's say on that program like where are you going to go from there so that's what we're saying essentially so yeah. if, if you can't hit those numbers work up to 225 bench a 315 squat and a 405 deadlift be able to do that before you consider running these programs, basically.